Hi everybody, this is actually a quick tip video about how to run a local web server for developing uh, static websites um, and previewing them in your local web browser without uh, going to too much trouble and uh, so that you can use you know full uh, capabilities of, of real web pages and everything. So uh, I'm going to be working from this uh, assignment repository which is um, just a static HTML uh, site uh, which we're working with for a different purpose but um, what happens if you take the index.html file and bring it into uh, the web browser like this you'll notice that in your uh, console you'll see some errors when um, when you when you try to run this page so if I refresh this page you'll notice that we'll get these errors um, right down here with um, pulling up jQuery out of the Google APIs uh, CDN, uh, that's Content Delivery Network. So the reason why we're getting this error is because we're accessing this through the file protocol up here. And what that means is that the web browser is just showing a file off of the computer. And because it's just showing a file off of my local computer, it doesn't enable the full uh, features of JavaScript as a security protection. It doesn't want me to randomly open a file off of my computer and have it start talking to some remote server that I never intended for it to talk to. Um, and so this error is really common and we'll get it a lot when uh, if we start trying to use externally hosted JavaScript or start trying to communicate with any external servers for any Ajax calls or anything, we're going to run into all sorts of security issues uh, working just from the file protocol when we just drag and drop a file into our web browser. So the way that we're going to fix that is we're going to run what is called the Python Simple HTTP server. This is something that you can run. Um, all Macs come with Python. Uh, all Unix and Linux boxes come with Python pre-installed. Um, and on Windows, it's very easy to install Python and many Windows uh, boxes that you get will actually already have Python installed and you can run this on any of those environments and it basically works exactly the same way. So I'm going to go to my command line interface here and in my command line interface here you'll notice that I can uh, I can see all of the files and what I'm gonna do here is just run the Python simple HTTP server with a single command. So this is the command, um, Python, and then I'm gonna use the dash M, which tells it to invoke a method, and, uh, and then I'm going to run simple HTTP server. And that's it, that's the entire command. When I hit run on this, it's going to start a server on port 8000, and it's going to listen for files or for any requests coming in on port 8000 of my local machine. So what that means is that I can come here and I can go to 127.0.0.18000 and now I'm viewing this page and you'll notice that in my console here I have no errors because there's no issue pulling up those remote JavaScript files now that I am, am connecting um, via a server. So I'll go ahead and refresh and you'll notice that I get the navigated to message, but I don't see any errors or anything showing up here. And if I go back to my command line, you'll notice that I can actually see every request that came into the server, all the files that got delivered, and um, and what you know what method was being used on the HTTP request. So for a simple HTTP site, we expect it to be mostly gets. So that's how to run a simple HTTP server using Python, so that you can develop. Uh, static HTML websites locally and test them locally in your web browser without getting any kind of security errors on your JavaScript or your remote server calls through your JavaScript. That's all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.